to the desert. Are you ready to learn all about deserts? Well, this story is by Christina Mia Gardaski. But before we read, we have to sing our story song. Are you ready? Get out your glasses. These are my glasses and this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up my book. Okay, here we go. All About Deserts by Christina Mia Gardaski. Here's the table of contents. How many sections are there? I see one, two, three sections. The first section is what is a desert? The second section is labeled hot days. And the third section is labeled cold nights. Here's the glossary and the index so we know that this is a nonfiction book. The first section is called what is a desert? A hot desert is a dry land. It is made of sand and rocks. Look at this picture. This is a real picture of a desert. I see some greenery. I see some sand. What do you see? Wind blows the sand and the sand forms dunes. Here's a label. This label says dune and it's pointing at a real picture of a sand dune. Little rain falls here in the desert and it is a dry habitat. When you say dry, that means there's not a lot of rainfall. Here's the second section. It's called hot days. The desert is hot all day. Cactuses grow in the sun and their stems hold water. Here are two different kinds of cactuses. The prickly parts on a cactus that could poke you are called spines. Animals adapt and camels can go days without water. This lizard drinks from its skin. This lizard is called a thorny devil lizard. It is so spiky, it looks like a cactus. Some animals dig down. A tortoise cools off in the sand. The last section of this story is called Cold Nights. The sun sets and the desert is cold at night. So it's hot during the day and cold at night. Animals come out at night. Rats run and snakes slide. What is it called when an animal sleeps during the day and wakes up at nighttime? These are called nocturnal animals. Owls hunt, it is time to eat. Here's the glossary. We've learned so much about adapting and adaptations. Remember, to adapt means to change to fit the land. Here's the index. Remember, you could find the subjects that are mentioned in the story and what pages they are on. So if you want to learn about owls, what page would you go to? Page 20. And if you wanted to learn about snakes, what page would you go to? Page 18. Nice job. Thanks for reading with me. Until next time, bye-bye little birds.